the armed forces and other security agencies have been operating in the southeast just like they also operate in other parts of the country. Now, they only go after criminals. In this case, of course, we, all, we know, I mean, there's nothing hidden to all of us that IPOB, not only is it proscribed, they have a militant wing, the ESN, who, of course, have been perpetrating mayhem on the well-meaning citizens of Nigeria and the Southeast. So it is from that standpoint that everyone, you know, um, all the operations that have been conducted are in that regard. But let me, let me speak to you as an individual, and I post by extension the rest. When, when you know, being, being a journalist, you are seized with the antics of uh, IPOB, the propaganda they have employed over the years. So when they come up with a narrative that these kind of videos that you've just described, even though I have not seen it, is used for certain purposes, you should also know the line of, of uh, I mean, what the trajectory is, the narrative what it is. So it does not even need any, uh, any reassessment to begin to you know, ask government security agencies that are pupilled by all Nigerians from all parts of the country. So will you now say that among the security forces that are that have Igbo extraction, they, they will be they will be you know um, involving, I mean more or less killing their people or giving them a bad name because they they want to I mean, come on. There are things that as journalists you shouldn't even go to explore further because it falls in line with the propaganda of, of um, any criminal gang who want to I mean, upstage the security setting within the state. So I just thought, you know, on the sideline, I should, I should just give that as a counsel.